Good morning everyone, it is Monday morning. I hope you all are having a fantastic start to the week. And in fact, I hope you all have something really good planned for the week. When a new week starts, often people think, oh no, it's Monday morning, we've got to get through a whole week before the weekend again. My advice to you is just to take advantage of every single day and every moment. That's what I do and it seems to work. Well, at least for the most part, it seems to work. I'm still sort of thinking back to over the weekend. If you saw the weekend Q&A video where I did a day trip as well, it really made me miss Broadstairs. It really did. In fact, if we were to move, then I would love to look around in that particular location. Not just because of the memories, but it is just very, very nice. It's a very nice atmosphere there. All the streets seem to be relatively clean. And um, the people there as well, very friendly, very nice area. So anyway, my day so far. I've already done the school run. I'm just making myself a cup of tea down here. And then I've got some editing to do, just two or three videos to edit today. And then the rest of the day is a planning day. So a little bit of a different day for me for a Monday. Sometimes I have these sort of brainstorming sessions and I just sit down and plan out some different projects I want to accomplish over the next sort of month or two. And that's what today's all about. So I'm gonna be doing that. And then also I've just got to catch up on some emails and social media sort of, uh, you know, replying to comments and questions that have come in over the weekend. So a really sort of cool day for me actually. I'm quite looking forward to it. And this evening, we have got to take Milo for some injections, just some vaccinations, uh, regular things that pets have to go through. So I'll let you know how that goes a little bit later on. So it's not often that I address one individual tweet in one of my personal videos, but I really felt compelled to on this occasion. And I just read a tweet from a good friend, Mquan. You can follow him at Mquan on Twitter. And he tweeted out, sat here thinking about something. Isn't it amazing and sad how much our modern lives revolve around wealth and money? Hashtag sad reality. And I did respond to that particular tweet. I'll tell you what I responded in a short while. But it is a very, very valid conversation and something I just really wanted to talk to you about. And yes, it is a sad reality that we do need money. We, we need money to pay bills. Uh, we need money for food. Uh, we need money for shelter, be that whether you're renting somewhere or whether you're purchasing a house and paying a mortgage. We need money to get places. Maybe we need to get to work. So we need money for either train and bus fares or we need money to, to run a car. And those things uh, sort of can pile up on top of each other. And the sort of higher expectation you have of your certain level of lifestyle, the more you feel you need to earn. But sometimes you need to take a step back. And I've often given people advice about how they should find a good life balance and, and realize that it's not all about money. It's not all about that big paycheck at the end of the week or the end of the month. Of course it's nice. They, I, I would be lying if I said it wasn't. It's nice to get a big paycheck at the end of the month. But sometimes you have to learn to say no. You have to get that balance back. Now, throughout my years of being self-employed, in the early days, I found it very, very hard to say no to projects. I would get offered a project and it would be maybe quite a lot of work and it would earn me maybe an extra £50 or £100 or X number of pounds in my bank balance at the end of the month. So it was really hard to say no. And I found myself saying yes to many projects that not only stretched me mentally, but also physically as well because of the time constraints. You can only do so much in a day. And I can even remember sometimes working so, so hard, working up till sort of two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning to get something done for very little financial gain, but yet it took me away from my family unit. It made me disengage with uh, the social interaction that I talked to you about in a previous video. So you, ha you have to get to that stage, and I've got to that stage probably about three or four years ago, where I learned to say no to certain projects. I would say it politely, you know, I'm really sorry, but my time uh, allocation or the workload I've got at the moment doesn't allow me to do what you're asking. Uh, please come back to me at a later stage. And sometimes those people will come back and say, well, what about if the rate was this much? What about if we paid you more? 
And then sometimes that answer would change because I would weigh up the pros and cons and see if I could fit it into the schedule. But not always. If it's impossible to fit it into your schedule, then you have to learn to say no. It's all about sort of time management. And like I say, getting that life balance back. I've also uh, sort of come into contact with, and I know a few people that are very, very wealthy. And I'm talking about earning sort of 250,000, 300,000 pounds a year plus. And yet emotionally, a couple of them, or at least one, and I'm not gonna name any names, because you, you wouldn't know them anyway. They're, they're just sort of people that I've come into contact with through various other people. So they're more acquaintances rather than people I socialize with. They earn all this money. And yet one of them I know is very, very depressed, like very, uh, uh, I would almost say clinically depressed, so much so that it's affecting her health. And when you see that happening, you think, why the initial response is you know why why are you depressed why why are you putting yourself through this why are you making yourself ill when you've got everything and then if you reanalyze that earning three hundred thousand pounds a year isn't everything so it just goes to prove that although money does help to pay bills it is not the be all and end all it is just not it, it is never worth uh making yourself ill or sacrificing your relationships with your wife and family uh, and sacrificing things that mean a lot more to you and have a lot more longevity to them, the money, which can in fact just disappear overnight. You can spend it all, you can gamble it all away, you can have it stolen, you, you can just lose everything. So you need to really sort of balance what is important to you. So anyway, I've waffled on a little bit, but I just really wanted to talk to you about it. And I'll just tell you what my actual response to MQAM was. And I tweeted back, yes, that is a sad reality for most. We need to break free from that model to value success by how many lives we influence or change. And just to expand on that a little tiny bit, what I mean by that is, is if you can spend some of your time not looking at the financial gain, but looking at the emotional rewards that you can get by helping somebody, maybe you're giving them advice, maybe you're just giving them the time of your day to have a chat with them, that can be a lot more valuable to somebody and to yourself than money. So that's really all I wanted to say on it. I know I've gone on about it for a long time, but I do have sort of some, some real in-depth thoughts about that. And, and M. Kwan's tweet really just sort of struck something in me that I really felt like I wanted to address it in this video. So it's now quite late at night, just grabbing myself a cup of tea and I am going to retire for the evening. It's been a very, very busy day and um, but a very eventful one as well. I got plenty of work done, uh, all my tasks done. Oh, the new whiteboard turned up as well. So I'll show you that in a future video. I'm going to start using that for planning out videos and getting things actioned as well. Uh, it just adds another level of organisation to my time, really. I did mention I was getting one in a previous video after watching one of Jared Poland's videos, and he inspired me to just buy in a whiteboard and, and just see if it works for me. So as I say, I'll share that with you in another video. But that's it for today. Thank you for taking the time out of your day for watching my video. Hit that like button. I hope everyone had a fantastic day. I'll see you all again tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you'd like to watch another amazing video from me, please do click that top box. And if you want to subscribe to my geeky channel, click the red box on the bottom of your screen now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.